I still have my teacher series and my church crime series going, but I decided to start a new series. So today I decided to start a series about mothers who unalive their children. Of course, I've done other videos that could fit into this category, Megan Ward, Ashley Rowland, Christina Riggs, but these are new videos. So this is part one of the series of mothers who unalive their children. And today I'm talking about Tyra Neal McKellar. On May 1st, 2018, Tyra McKellar gave birth to a little girl and named that girl Casely Jo McKellar. Casely wasn't an only child because Tyra and her husband, Cody McKellar, had two other children at home. They had a two-year-old and a one-year-old. Everything seemed okay as far as I can tell until May 29th, 2018 when a 911 call was received. The call was received about a 27-day-old infant. When police arrived, Cody McKellar told police that he found the baby in a dryer. The baby was being held by Tyra when police arrived and the baby was wrapped in a blanket. Police could tell by touching the baby that the baby was not alive. Casely reportedly had second degree burns to a significant portion of her body. While police were at the scene, Tyra McKellar told police, I screwed up, didn't I? Police investigated and spoke to neighbors who said that they received calls from Tyra that day. Tyra called several of her neighbors asking if her neighbor had the baby as though she couldn't find the baby. She went to some neighbor's homes and at one place, uh, someone did tell police that she told that person, that neighbor, I effed up, I effed up. Police did do two interviews on Tyra. In the first interview, she told one story. Second interview, she kept changing her story. At one point, she even suggested that her two-year-old daughter put the baby in the dryer. But at one point, she finally did suggest that she possibly put the baby in water that was too hot and caused the burns to the baby, then got scared and put the baby in the dryer. Tyra McKellar was charged with second degree murder and abuse of a corpse. Tyra ended up having a jury trial in the homicide of Casely. It took three hours for the jury to convict Tyra on a charge of manslaughter and abuse of a corpse. It took 14 minutes for the jury to come back with a sentence of 10 years for manslaughter and five for abuse of a corpse that are to run consecutively. She was sentenced in January 2022 and Tyra McKellar is set to be released possibly next year.